Hello, ladies and gents. It is time for another detecting video. The gears are always turning in here, and uh, basically, I, I'm going on nine months now that I've been using the MindLab Equinox. And you might remember when I started putting videos out again, I was using the MindLab Safari. I used the Safari for four years, and the appeal to the Equinox is it felt so much like the Safari with everything except for weight. Oh my god, the Safari broke my arm. But long story short, it's a very similar detector. But there's one thing that is so different, and that is the choice of the recovery speeds. Now, there's a few things that you need to know for this video to make total sense to you. One, when I used the MindLab Safari, I used uh, what was called the Watt coil, W-O-T, which stands for Wild Orange Thing. Now, th that was a oversized coil, and you, you, could, you could dig signals in China from New York with it. It was a very deep detector, although it, it, the Equinox has made me really appreciate what target separation is, because the processing uh, of the Safari was so much slower. So there's depth, and there is spacing, and... I did a video a few months ago where I dug my backyard again. Now, obviously, being a metal detectorist, I've gone out there a million times, but when I bought this new detector, I found new stuff because it separates so well. But, you know, sometimes when you go to places such as Prospect Park, which is a park I've been going to a lot, the only signals that are left are deep ones. Let me rephrase that. That's not exactly true. No, there's zillions of signals left at Prospect Park. But the thing is, the deepest, the, the silver signals, the, the old copper signals that we want to dig, uh, you really have to hit it in the middle of the coil. And it started, it started me thinking, like, what is the best technique to do that? So naturally, I did some research, and I came across an article. So this is from the website, thesilverfiend.com, and I'm going to link to this article down in the video description. And uh, it's an article, of course, about reco recovery speed. And uh, here is the formula. All right, so I made some notes for you. If you're going to a trashy or full site, and I, I, I don't know if I would call, well, yeah, I guess I would call Prospect uh, Park trashy. Uh, it, there's a lot of stuff there. If you sweep the coil once, you're going to hear beep, 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 beep. I, I usually uh, hunt on recovery speed two or three, and you hear multiple beeps per swing. So that I'll call a trashy site. He goes on to say that y you want high recovery speeds uh, because uh, high recovery will let you hear both a coin and a nail very quickly, like beep, beep, rather than blend them together. Uh, where the uh, the lower recovery speeds do. Um, he uh, goes on to say depth is compromised with higher recovery speeds. Uh, I'm hoping to find the deepest signals that are out there. So this is where this experiment is going. Um, high recovery speed means less depth in general, while lower recovery speed allows greater depth at slower sweep speeds. Um, the ideal swing speed, he's still trying to work out uh, but he goes on to say that the deepest way to run the Equinox, and this is a quote, is slow sweep speed with low recovery speed, and that maximizes depth. So what am I going to try? I'm going to try Park 2, uh, recovery speed 1, which is the slowest, and I'm going to focus on sweeping extra slow because I know there's a lot uh, that's there. Uh, a lot has been dug up. But uh, a lot is uh, still remaining in Prospect Park. Um, iron bias, one. So this video, I'm going to use the standard coil, but uh, I am, uh, I'm am i about to purchase the uh, oversized coil. I love the Watt coil with the, uh, the Safari. Going to try that uh, in the future, and uh, that definitely improves the depth. But uh, let's try, let's see what we could get with the standard coil. Usual weekend digs, already got a quarter. Another quarter. I swear I'm committing to this experiment. Problem is, I just kept hitting quarters. I can't ignore quarters. If you know these, these dig up uh, the same as uh, two cent pieces. So, it, most of the time you get this, but 
you never know, so you gotta dig it. 75 cents already. Another quarter, already at a dollar. Just a nickel. Quarter. I can't help but feel that quarters are finding me. Quarter. So I'm back with my buddy Ken. You might remember him from uh, the dig in Florida. And uh, uh, he has family in New York, so he's back. He's a great beach detectorist, but this is his uh, second time that he's uh, digging in soil. So, wishing him luck today. All right, looks to be in great shape. First great coin of the day, we got an Indian head. Indian head is from 1880. Equinox is a fascinating detector. It, it really operates in different dimensions because of that processing speed. Uh, like I said, the time that I detected my yard, the back of my house, uh, I found new stuff that my Equinox with the oversized coil could not pull because these targets were close to uh, iron objects that were masking it. And it, it, it takes that out of the equation. But uh, in terms of depth, you know, it's, uh, it, I'm learning how to operate that you know, on the same level as what I was getting with the Equinox and the oversized coil. And I like this. It, it slowed me down. I, I've been tuning into that uh, in, in general, but uh, it, so far so good. Oh, best feeling in the world right there. Do not scratch it, Meryl. I think it's out. It's a pendant. Sweetness. Okay, we're gonna clean that up. Oh, it's plated. Well, look at what my friend just found. I don't know. It, it, things can be deceptive. Yeah, it's a religious pendant. Oh, it, send me a pic of this one so that after you clean it up. That's beautiful. Well done. Quarter. Best feeling in the world. Oop. Yeah, got some, uh... Oh, sorry, buddy. Um, this is from a horse. Might be a cool little button thingy. I think it's from a horse. I, I really don't know horses. We got a button. Back is still intact. No clue what it says. I'm going to give it a few minutes to dry and then we will take a look at it. I mean, when you see the video, it'll be a few days maybe, but uh, you get a good look at it. I'm very proud of that button. It's an eagle with a nice hat. It's a quarter. Another quarter. Indian head number two on the day. Best feeling in the world. This must be a car key from the early 1800s, even though they didn't drive. Yeah, they wanted to. Well, what is it? Uh, it's pretty cool looking. Yeah. Oh, you hit an old patch of the park that maybe hasn't been uh, detected yet. Miniature it's a miniature window scraper. That's right. <laughs> so every video has a plot. One of the plots is, can Ken, on his second day in parks digging in dirt, can he pull something from the 1800s? No pressure. Oh, snap. That sounds amazing. Do not scratch it. Do not scratch it. <laughs> sounds big. Come on. Make it silver. It's not silver. Ah, it's rust. It's a square nail. Meh. Meh. You want to say a guest meh? Meh. There you go. I like that. <laughs> We're still getting a signal here. You know, it's interesting. I spent the day swinging low, but once you find a target and you're trying to get it to repeat, the swing speed that you're seeing me do right here that's the ideal swing speed. At least, I think that. All right, let's dig it. Well, uh, not good this time, but let's uh, let's keep looking. Fortunately, that's it. Best feeling in the world. 
It's old button. Holy crap. The guilting on the bag. Oh, old guilt button. I'm feeling guilty. <laughs> Holy crap. Good shield. Yeah. Okay, let Hopefully me. there's something on there. Yeah, I'm hoping. Oh, good day so far. Ooh. <laughs> it's a horse ring. Ken found a horse ring. Ken just missed a uh, war nickel, a nickel by uh, one year. 1941 nickel. Awesome. This might be a deep silver signal. Maybe. Okay, here we go. Oh. It's out. And it's something, it's a coin. And not silver. Indian head. I'll take it. Cool. All right. No problem there. Something else in there. All right, we got it. Shoot, this is deep. Sadly, we got iron. 50 more. Oh, there is something on there. Look at what Ken found. This is button day. This might clean up. Wow, that's an awesome one. Okay, that's that's your find of the day right there. The back might uh, give you some clues. That's really cool. This is uh, 1916. Oh wow! And I'm gonna I'm gonna give it to my new friends. Oh so, no! Yeah. Really, that's amazing. <laughs> nice of you. Thank you. Again. You're welcome. You're welcome. That's so nice. Er hat euch das You're welcome. Oh, yeah. wow. Schatz auf, okay? I hope you guys try it someday. It's a lot of fun. This is button day. I got another button. I was getting mobbed by people around me at that point, so I didn't really have too much of a chance to do narration on this. But, oh, that was an awesome button right there. I, I didn't even get a really good chance to look at it, but you know, I felt the details that were there, and uh, it cleaned up very nicely, too. We got a buffalo nickel. <laughs> more cents wheat penny another wheat cent another wheat cent another wheaty quarter 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 yeah so I thought it was a uh, bullet at first but no it's a pen I see supply company so that's a pen cap did some woods digging with uh, not too much luck here so we're gonna get back uh, to the uh, usual parts. 45 cent coin spill. Look at this. Here's a sign that beach season is coming. Look at that. Got flowers blooming. Beach is coming. Anything? It's not marked anything. Whoa! Well, the color sure looks good. They bring up a. Uh... As a quarter, actually, 30. Wow. So it might be silver. Okay, I need to drop the mic signal. We need to drop the mic signal. Quarter, that's not a drop the mic signal. Quarter, that's not a drop the mic signal. 50 cents. Quarter. Ken just uh, dug the rare subway token. I think this is the one that uh, I uh, am missing from. No, actually, I might have one. Uh, or no, this is the one I'm missing from my collection. And I just dug an Indian head. Sweet. We got Taco Bell. Taco Bell. Might be copper. Might be, but hey. A ring is a ring is a ring. That's right. There we go. Sweet. Just in case if there's anybody new that's watching, the, the, the reason that I say Taco Bell when I find a ring, it's my favorite fast food restaurant. And it's become quite a tradition. Whenever I find a ring, we go to the best fast food joint in the world.
best feeling in the world. Got a good feeling about this. Oh, I see it. I see it. It's pretty thick. Oh, looks small. What in the world is this? Wishful thinking. This is small. Oh man. Okay, we don't know what we have. Let me uh, check it out. You see your mind starts playing tricks on you. This is just a weedy. <laughs> That's when you know it's time for tacos. Old one, but uh, yeah, just a weedy. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, I'm praying this is, well, not praying. I'm hoping this is silver. Best feeling in the world right here. Uh, I see it. I think it's another Indian head. <laughs> All right, we're calling that a day. Gonna have to uh, call the ring the uh, drop the mic signal there. Oh no, this one uh, broke, I see, uh, one of my buttons. Um, okay, so we'll do a wrap up in a minute, but uh, I'm gonna give uh, Indian head to my buddy. And uh, here you can choose. They're all, <laughs> I think I got four or five here. How does he do it? Ah, uh, this is my hometown. <laughs> I think this is one too. There's another buried here. Yeah, choose whatever you want. Grab one and see how I can do with cleaning her up. There you go. Thank you, sir. All right. All right. Well, the theme of this hunt is good things happen when you slow down, or could happen. This is a tad toasty. Here, let me switch hands. Hold on. Zoom in a little bit. There we go. Wait, where is it? There we go. So, as you can see, there is really not too much left on the front. Um, but this was... Um, this was perhaps a guilt button at one point. Um, that was tough. I thought I've had something significant there. Um, we've got five Indian heads. And we're going to highlight the buttons. So here's another one of the buttons. It's the bird with the hat. And you can see... What are you doing? You can see that... Um, I have dogs. You could see that uh, the back, there's really not too much detail that's left on the back. Uh, but uh, if anybody knows about buttons, yeah, I'm very curious about this one. Um, there's a markation at the bottom there. It looks a little bit like a date, but I'm not entirely sure about that one. So that's that. This little piece, the uh, small windshield wiper, you know, the smallest glass cleaner in the world. It's a clamp of some sort. If anybody knows its use, uh, I'm curious. And here is the other significant button right here. And that looks like an American shield, perhaps? It's got stars, it's got this area that might be stripes, I don't know. Again, I, I, uh, I'm curious, if anybody knows, I would be very appreciative. And um, the back on this one also is pretty toasted. The ring, it, it's a copper ring. You know, it's, it's uh, I think at one point it was uh, uh, gilded over perhaps. You know, it's got, it has parts that look a little bit shinier, different luster than the copper, but yeah, basic copper ring, but hey man, it got me to Taco Bell. Wait, 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 what can I say more than that? And last thing is this little pendant, which cleaned up very nicely, I have to say. Not sure the material that it is. And it's got some weight to it, so I'm hopeful. 
Anyway, hey, thank you so much for uh, watching the video, and uh, we'll be back with more very soon.